Okay guys, it has happened. December 19th, Interstellar Object 3i Atlas is passing its point closest to Earth. And we have watched it for quite a while as it was speeding with high speed through our solar system, way faster than any spacecraft that we have ever built. And we have used the most powerful tele telescopes in human history. We have studied its light with probes whipping around the sun and robots marooned on Mars. We have lost contact to the MAVEN spacecraft after it took images of 3i Atlas, Hubble telescope, so many others, countless eyes watched it and as it was making its closest approach to Earth on December 19th. And yet for all of it, the interstellar object, whatever the heck it is, 3i Atlas remains so far in these images a little more than just a blur of gas that is shrouded in mystery because we have 14 to 15 or even 16 anomalies that break physics, that break everything that has ever existed. And since 3i Atlas was discovered in early July, it has been studied more enthusiastically than practically any other celestial object that in, in recent memory. So for all its fame, so much remains unknown about it or unexplained. NASA has given us any explanations for all these anomalies that have been detected. So the comets, interstellar objects, spacecraft, space junk, whatever the heck it is, origins are from somewhere far across our galaxy, may never be even known. Um, its true size, age, composition, and shape are also poorly constrained. But how can we learn more about this alien interlooper? Or probably the next one, it's probably too late for this one, um, because right now we're already studying it with everything that we've got. So some scientists are proposing a bold solution. They said we have to intercept it with a spacecraft. And guys, this would have indeed been a possibility. The only problem was 3i Atlas was discovered on July 1st this year, 2025. And that was too late to send a spacecraft so close that it would have been possible to get better images. And doing so, of course, would not have only helped us to better understand the key characteristics of 3i Atlas. Are they little tiny aliens on it? <laughs> but no, we could have also photographed its surface and potentially collect um, our first ever interstellar samples. And of course, this could help reveal how um, alien exoplanets form, for example, how common our type of solar system is and it could maybe even help to answer the question of whether we're not alone in the universe. So the problem is we only had one shot at 3i Atlas to do that, but that is gone forever right now. Now the scientists say, now that it's so close to Earth, we wanna get as much information from all of our observatories as we can get. It was kind of interesting because on July 1st this year, astronomers at the asteroid terrestrial impact lost alert system, that's it's called ATLAS, revealed that they had spotted a mysterious object that was traveling towards us from beyond Jupiter at more than 130,000 miles per hour. That's 200,000 kilometers per hour. And this ATLAS telescope would automatically automatically scans our skies um, using telescopes in Hawaii, in Chile, in South Africa, was at that time just out there hunting for potential threats to Earth. And then it found something else entirely. Or should I say something else? Because we don't know yet. Because the anomalies that we have, they're quite strange. And now, since it's passing Earth right now, it is going to Jupiter into the hill radius of Jupiter, which is really, really strange. And for me, the biggest anomaly so far. So why didn't they act earlier? Was there still time after they discovered 3i Atlas to send a spacecraft? Did they have any chance to intercept the object? Only the third of its kind ever spotted. 
Well, right after it was discovered, scientists around the world were looking at exploring various options to do just that, including proposals to reroute NASA and European Space Agency missions that are already in space and basically repurpose shelf spacecraft projects for a hurried launch. But the problem is 3i Atlas is so incredibly fast, so many times faster than our spacecraft. So the problem is, if you miss the point, we cannot follow it, we cannot reach it. And it was, it was traveling at more than 60 kilometers per second, so there was little time to prepare, and it was just not possible. The closest approach to Earth is now over, but for the next week or so, we still have a very good chance to get as much information as possible. So closest was 100, 168 million miles, 270 million kilometers. Now this visitor will continue its journey through the outer solar system, passing Jupiter, which is going to be interesting in early 2026. And that it kind of changed direction when it was in perihelion towards Jupiter and towards the hill radius, where it can basically stay without needing much energy. The question remains, is this an interstellar visitor that is trying to build a base on Jupiter? So then let's say it is not it will continue its journey crossing the orbits of Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune by 2028. And then, if it's natural, it will head out to interstellar space and it will never return. And doesn't that make us kind of sad? Because we would like to know, what is it? All these mysteries and anomalies, we still have the chance. Right now, the data are being collected from spectrograms and everything. We have a chance that these data might help us. And we are waiting for more data that we're probably only seeing in the new year when they can be um, received from the spacecraft that we have out there. So it's gone forever. That sounds really sad, but guys, right now it is still here and we can observe it. You have asked me to give you a quick list of what the anomalies are. So for a longer time term explanation of these, and it's really, really baffling, go to my 3i Atlas playlist. I'm explaining them all detail by detail. But let's begin. Number one, jet pointing towards the sun, not away from it, this anti-tail. Number two, tightly collimated jet. We just talked about this in my last few videos. St then number three, stable jet direction over time. How is this possible? Number four, retrograde orbit. Number five, orbit nearly opposite to the ecliptic plane. Number six, close flybys of multiple planets. What are the probability of this? Mars, Earth, and now to Jupiter's hill radius. The probabilities, we've talked about this in my previous videos, again, check the playlist, is zero, basically. Number seven, avoids a close path with Earth as if it doesn't want to go to Earth, right? Um, it's passing us by, but it's, it, it's not getting as close as we thought it would. So number eight, no nuclear dust, no clear dust coma. Number nine, unusual brightness behavior, so bright. Number 10, activity at distances where comets are usually inactive. We've seen this, we've discussed this. Number 11, absolutely abnormal response to solar heating and the sublimation that should have happened. Breaks physics. Number 12, nickel detected without iron. Number 13, lack of expected carbon-based volatiles. Number 14, jet behavior absolutely not explained by water ice sublimation. Something else is causing this. Or number 15, all anomalies appearing together. This is so rare that one natural comet has all of them. If we add all probabilities together, it's basically close to zeros. zeros. Zero. <laughs> What's going on with me right now? The unusual combination, guys, of these anomalies it adds to that mystery that 3i Atlas has created for us. And we still don't have the answers. Will we ever? 
I will keep you updated, guys. Check the videos in the end screen. Really, really interesting. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.